Welcome along guys. Well it's a beautiful Sunday morning, 7am. So what better time to go out and answer a question which people ask me all the time. Which is better? The Super Duke or the Tuono? Which isn't here at the moment because Womble's late. Again. <laughs> Here he comes, late man. Late to the party, as usual. So, as many people know, I borrowed the Tuono last year for uh, a week or so from uh, Aprilia and absolutely loved it. And everyone's, and everyone thought I was going to buy one. Everyone said, Why didn't you buy a Tuono? Why didn't you buy a Tuono? Which we will get into on this video. But uh, I had a little go on it in Spain, didn't we? We had a little swap in Spain, but it was only really on the motorway and it was, you know, you got a feel for the bike a bit, but. It's just too cool for you, really, isn't it? Well, there is all that. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, it suits you, mate, suits you. Oh, it's nice, mate. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> so as part of our little test, we're actually heading down to uh, sunny Weymouth. We thought we'd go on a decent run. Bit of Weymouth fun. What do you think then? How does it feel, the Duke, first getting on there? The pegs are so much lower, aren't they? The, you, are, you are they, very super moto. Yeah, it's a very super moto fair, isn't it? And it was, because it's got the... Yeah, there's a couple of things. My bike's been modded a fair bit, so it's not particularly standard. And it's got the aftermarket rear set, so they are set back a bit. So your legs feel behind you a little bit, don't they? Yeah. But they're not as... This actually feels really comfortable. Very, very smooth. It's a 2017 Toyota, so it's got all of the blippers and quick shifters and TFTs. Whereas my Duke is a 2014, so it's the older one, but there's not that many changes between the, the old and the new one. Slightly revised, slightly better electronics, but the overall feel of the bike is, is very similar. On the Duke, below three grand, you can't do nothing. It's so lumpy. Let's just take this down. What's this like, sort of really low? below 3,000 revs, third gear. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's no problem. With it. you, get, you get your teeth shaken out on the Duke when you try and do anything below three grand. It's, it does feel so smooth compared to mine. Yeah, yours is well vibey, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, it is. Being a big twin, it, is, it has got more vibes. This does feel super smooth. This is like sports bike smooth, isn't it? Four cylinder, well it is obviously it is four cylinder, but it's a V4, but it's sort of straight cylinder smooth almost, isn't it? It's definitely got a sports bike feel to this. It's a bit like the GSX-R, but comfortable. <laughs> when the GSX-R is pretty comfy, but this is like upright comfort, but GSX-R type feel. How does that feel in the twisties? It feels nice, but on the Aprilia, it, it wants you to lean to come off the seat. Exactly, that's the old sports bike thing with this, isn't it? You, you want to come off it a bit, shift your ass over, stick your knee out. Whereas that, it's like the Supermoto, you just sit in the seat really and it'll flick left and right without any effort. I'm not sure about the blipper on this. Yeah, no blipper. <laughs> it's, it's a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a bit of effort to change direction, doesn't it? I think that's the... Compared to this. You've got a, you've got a counter steer. Yeah. Quite a lot on this to... But yeah, it's just... It's no bad thing. I think with mine, you've got to be a lot more precise with it to get it on your line, because you can change line so easily on that. I think it's probably harder to ride that fast because it won't, it won't, it's not stable and it will move around more. And if you don't get your weight right, it'll, your line will change mid-corner and stuff. I think mine's longer geared than yours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, not mine. Well, the thing with mine is, below 3,000 revs, you can't use it, and it runs out of revs about 10,000. So usable revs is a lot less than this, I think. Yeah, on the power, it is a little bit, if you're like leaning into a bend and you're powering, you do feel the front twitch, don't you? It's like... What, on mine? Yeah. Yeah, you do, yeah. The front is very, very lively. I think on the Super Duke 2, they've calmed it down a little bit. 
Well, on that one, it is quite aggressive, quite a lively bike. Quick stop to turn on the external audio recorder. Right, yeah. That's it. That's the one. We'll stick this on, get the full... Do you go full back in there, does it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Full effect of those uh, farts. Have a good old rummage around in there, mate. Shove it in. Gently, gently. Don't forget the lube. <laughs> so I was like, oh, am I hurting him? Uh, it's like throwing a sausage down Oxford Street, mate. It's all right. <laughs> okay, I've lost it. It's gone in there. <laughs> Is it in? Yeah. Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in? How rude! I've finished. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. We're going a nice little calf down on by the harbour. Oh, all right, a nice bit of brekkie. It's silky smooth, isn't it? Who are you? Oh, I've come off the wrong f***ing... Who is he? What an idiot! What a monkey! What's she done? Oh, your brakes are not as good as I thought. Is he gone? <laughs> is he gone? Oh, do come on, I need to get off. I'm getting a bit of appreciation now. Old Chops leaves me for two minutes and then I'm getting... I'm pulling blokes. What's that about? <laughs> I f***ing lost the plot, man. We managed to get all the way through the Pyrenees without losing each other. We get we get to Winchester and we, and we, and we get lost. I think like the Super Duke, 70, 80, it's fine, isn't it? You can cruise all day at that. It's not a problem. It's only when you up the pace over 80. It becomes hard going, as we found out in Spain. <laughs> it's like watching your girlfriend make love to someone else, isn't it? It's just wrong. <laughs> I'm shaking it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you lost it longer than normal. <laughs> oh, those Dynamag wheels look nice going along, don't they? Oh, look at that. Super sexy. Right off here, isn't it? <laughs> you were going straight on then, weren't you? I think I bear lead. I think I bear lead today. The brain's not in gear. It's too early, man. Oh, listen to that exhaust. It does sound so nice, doesn't it? Is it that way? Is this one, isn't it? Yeah. It does sound so nice, that V4. Let's try and see if we can ascertain which bike sounds best. Let's start the old external recorder. Put it behind the bikes. Sounds tasty. Power on, Mr. Tuono. Got a nice, and that's with the baffle in. So yours has got the baffle in as well. Whereas mine's baffleless. I don't know. I think the Tuono does sound better. I'd say that's noisier. Mine's that's noisier, tone. but I think that the Tuono has that tone. Doesn't that V4 is the but dog's bollocks basically, isn't it? It just sounds so nice. Mm. Growl. Growl. <laughs> Growl. <laughs> Go on, mate, move over here, you polite vest on. Coming through. We're coming through unpolitely. Show them how it's done. Tuono style. <laughs> That's done. That's Salisbury done. This is where the, the twisty stuff. This is where it gets exciting on the route now, isn't it? So I think it's left here, isn't it, our route? I was just about to say, as long as we know where we're going. Is 
it left here? Oh, well, I don't know now. I don't think it is. I think it's straight on. Oh, I think on. it's straight on, yeah. I think it's straight on, then left. Well, how can we not know? We've done this a million times. How can we still not be sure? Go on, go on. I'll stop talking about it and I'll, I'll have him in a minute. So what would you say is, you know, these bikes aren't perfect. I think they've both got faults, haven't they? Or things which could be improved upon. Yeah. I think I think the Tuono's got a few more niggles than the Super Duke has. You've got that fueling problem with a tiny fuel cap, haven't you? It's really annoying to, yeah. get, to fill it up yeah. because it's such a small little hole. You've got no fuel gauge, of course, which is a big emission, isn't it? It's, it's not only has it got no fuel gauge, but it hasn't got a very big tank. And when the light, the fuel light comes on, you've literally got 20 miles till you run out of fuel, haven't you? That, that is the biggest problem with this bike. The biggest problem is no fuel gauge, and even when the light comes on, you've got about 20 miles. You've run out of petrol on it twice, haven't you? Yeah, you need to, you know, that light needs to come on a lot sooner. Yeah, it needs to come on with 40 miles left of the tank, doesn't it? The, the Duke, what do you reckon, well, after riding it, what, what, what would you say? Yeah, I missed the blipper, but that's only because I've, it's hard only because I'm used to it. Yeah, but the newer Duke has got the blipper if you pay extra for it, hasn't it? Do, do you know what? I'm not sure about the seat. Though the riding position is lovely, it, all my weight is on my arse cheeks. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, everything's on your ass, isn't it? Because you're so upright. Your legs are not actually doing anything, are they? They're, they're just balanced, they're just... <laughs> Are hanging on your feet and your foot pegs, they're not. Your legs are just <laughs> hanging there. Not, yeah, they're like it's somewhere to put your feet. It's not you're not using. Yeah, yeah, you're not moving around. You're just sat, sat on it, aren't you? And I think that's why I had such a sore ass with Spain because you're just there's a lot of weight on your backside. And don't get me wrong, it's comfortable, but I'd imagine after a long distance, your ass is going to ache. Yeah. Well, yeah, as we know, it does. <laughs> Whereas this, because you are... But I think you've got a little bit of tuck under your knees on this, haven't you? I mean, I've been on this an hour now, it's right here, isn't it? And I could definitely feel that little back of the knee starting to... I mean, I'm ready for a little break now, do you know what I mean? I'm ready to get off and stretch my legs in a minute. <laughs> Suspension is lovely on this, the Orient suspension is much better than the stock Super Duke suspension. My suspension is pretty good now because I've had it all revalved. But out the packet, out the crate, it's far superior on this. But this is a bit hard away. <laughs> oh, there go the knackers. This is a bit more, this is firm, isn't it? It's more sporty to set up on this, I think. It's a lot taller, this, isn't it? Why I bought the, the Super Duke was because it's, it suits larger riders better. It's a bigger physical bike. You've got more leg room on it. Whereas these are, are small, aren't they? These are compact. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, and that is why I didn't get one of these, really, was because of the just being a larger guy. The Super Duke just suits better. And this is fine to ride, comfort-wise. <laughs> I just think you look a bit big on it, don't you? And the bike looks small. Let's stop in a minute and you can have your have your fag. Call my bike a fag? <laughs> it's just a fag which is riding it. <laughs> well, no, I mean you when you're on it, not me, obviously. <laughs> what do you think then? I mean, they're, they're both lovely bikes, aren't they, to be fair? They're both absolutely gorgeous. They're, 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 just, they're so different, aren't they? But both just so good. That's why it's so hard to... Yeah, you can't compare. It's so hard to choose between them, isn't it? Though, as a, you know, if you if you're going to buy, if you're looking to buy a Super Naked, to choose between the Duke and the Torono, I think it's so hard. And I think even I know we haven't swapped back to our own bikes yet, but even just choosing after getting off one and getting on the other, I think it'd still be a really hard decision yeah. to pick your favourite out of the two. I, I think they're so close. They're yeah, yeah, exactly. That is. Yeah, it's not like, yeah, that one's better because that one's better for other reasons than that one, yeah. and that one's better for other reasons than that one. What did we say when we were in Spain? We said that what mine is like a like a, a gothy 
tasty bird, didn't we? Into leather and all that. This is more into the golf ball in the mouth. Golf ball in the mouth. Tied up. Things up the arse. <laughs> Whereas the Toyota is more of that sexy lingerie, sexy lingerie blonde, yeah, bit, 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 bit dippy, out. bit, bit, uh, you know, bit of, I mean, a bit of maintenance. It could be a lingerie, but, but with the M boots on. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's going to be weird getting back on this. Initial impressions when you get back on your own bike. It's much taller, isn't it? It's, it's much taller. There's much more bike up here at your chest level. Whereas that, it's all down low, isn't it? Yeah, the speedo's right in front of you, isn't it? Like... Yeah. You're like much higher up. You're not leaning, like you say, it's all your weights on your arse. You're not, you're not leaning forward at all. This is a lot more, oh, bottom end wants to go, doesn't it? This is, the, the bottom end on this is much more, it could be because of the power commander and the map, but it's much more abrupt, isn't it? It's like, you've got to be really delicate with your throttle inputs. Oh, that old lady smelled nice. She smelled nice. She smelled nice. What did she smell of? That's so wrong. That old lady smelled nice. What did she smell of? Oh, like perfume. Mm. Where does it go? Sound of this, it sounds good, but it's just different, isn't it? I went to dim blipper then on my own bike. I went to use the blipper then. <laughs> it's weird how you get used to it, isn't it? Oh, we got a nice little left in here and we'll avoid this traffic in a second. I think I do prefer the Super Duke. I think being a bigger guy it just fits better. I think I like that instant grunt as well. You've got that instant go. I mean, that does go well, don't get me wrong, but I quite like that aggressive. This just. It just picks up quick, doesn't it? It's just like, go. But then I like the sports bike feel to this. Yeah, I think if you've come from being used to riding sports bikes, but are finding it a bit uncomfortable now, then I think the Toronto would fit you better than the, than the Super Duke. If you're a straw sports bike rider, you've come from straight for sports bikes and you want to get something a bit more comfortable, that is definitely feels like a, a comfortable sports bike, doesn't it? It's just a sports bike with bigger bars, slightly lower pegs, and just a whole sports bike feel in a more comfortable package. I'm out of the way, Mr. Audi. I'm having him. Yeah, a bit more back brake on this. You can sort of back brake it in a bit. in mine and then get back on yours are you are you happy with your purchase shall we say are you glad you went for the Toyota over the Super Duke yeah yes and why yes, is that definitely why, why first, is that well what? when I first got in it you're like whoa but I don't know this is just me I like the sports bike feel but the comfortable sports bike feel yeah I and, get that and I've got the supermoto and to me, that's very similar to the Supermoto with a massive bloody engine. No, you're right. That's exactly, I completely agree. And I, I do really, I do, I think this, I like this because you can cruise a bit more on this. I think you can come out on this without thinking you have to go really fast. And because it's got loads of torque, it, it, it's so effortless to ride, to, to sort of ride because you don't have to change gear, you can just overtake. You know I mean, it's more, it's lazier. I guess it's lazier. You can do lazier riding. And, but for a bigger, but the why I bought one of these was, is, is for that reason that that bike is just a bit, the tone is just a bit compact for a bigger guy. Yeah. And this is yeah. more comfortable for a bigger guy. And that is why I bought one of these. So we're just coming into Weymouth. Womble's fuel life's just come on. <laughs> He's got 20 miles until he's pushing. We've got these two guys in front who think they're Rossi and uh, Marquez, but in fact they're not. 
<laughs> uh, I am quite hungry now. Oh, there they go. Oh, that guy in the back just, just, <laughs> he just follows them, that guy anyway, doesn't he? Like, if that guy goes, he goes. He doesn't even think it may not be clear for him to go. Amateurs, mate, amateurs. But it's a shame there's a lovely little cafe. We're not going to have time now because of this traffic. We're, we'll have to go to Mackey's instead, which is a bit of a shame. Look at that, sun, sea, sand, and... Oh, a bit of Mackey D's. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I've gone for the bagel. I've gone for the bagel, mate. Mm. Sausage and egg bagel is the way forward. That's so 1990s, it's just the sausage and egg, mate. You've got to go with the bagel, mate. I've already gone double. Yeah. So bring the bathers. Skinny dipping. Yeah, <laughs> we could do. <sighs> Can you imagine trying to put leathers back on though when you're all wet? Oh Jesus! It does look inviting, doesn't it? I quite fancy it. Come on, we got we got roads to hit. 